still gets me. This weekend it was my birthday and some of my friends, my best friends from Bristol said, hey, we think this festival might happen after everything we've all just gone through. Do you want to come along? And I was like, hell yeah, that's the only thing I want to do. So drove up to the Midlands in England and came to this teeny tiny festival called Timber, which has just been amazing. It's been I mean, it's just been kind of the perfect festival because obviously it has to be really, really crazily under capacity. Everyone's tested negative. And we got to dance. We got to watch live music. We got to sing along and be close to one another. <laughs> and it's just kind of been like the best birthday. So um, I thought I would take you into my friend's camper van where we've been staying and do a few questions and maybe sing a little song because obviously I brought the carbon fiber guitar with me because it's just the perfect travel thing it's been staying in my car it's been a mixture of weather here it's been beautiful sunshine and like super hot and then it's also been cold and wet in just like a matter of hours so um yeah let's get to it oh hello and welcome to my friend's van <laughs> come inside Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome this, to my van. I'm, I'm just using your van. I hope that's okay. You can use our van. She's going to be famous. How, um, how old is she? She's 40 next year. <laughs> she's a Bedford CF Mark I facelift and she's from 1984. 1984. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Before any of us existed. Before any of us existed. She was, she was trundling the country lane. <laughs> What's your reaction to these effects? I can't believe these little guys, these little widgy bits, they're amazing. <laughs> widgy can, you, can you do a reverb on our song, please? Oh, I can do, uh, that is reverb. Well, that's re reverb and delay. <laughs> God, I'm such a nerd. Um... gets me. I get asked by quite a few people whether or not I still have this guitar and of course I do because firstly it's handy and secondly that video got five million hits so it's my most successful video so it, this is now just sentimental and and it's also just useful. Um, I've been traveling around and I've had it in my car and just obviously whilst camping like can't really have it out and about and need it locked up so um i've just had it in my boot i just thought i would actually like give an update and show you it's definitely getting some use because you can see my fingers i, I don't think that's obviously affecting the carbon fiber it's just the the coating and um still got battery and i filmed the first video october what 2019 maybe september 2019 released at october 2019 and um yeah it's still still here it's still here and really fun for sing-alongs with friends and also i wish there had been an open mic here there wasn't sadly but i brought it just in case because i can just plug it in and then i just have a little little guitar with effects on it and um it would have been useful so next time To answer everyone's question, I still have it. That's simple. And obviously, 
you can go and check out the video if you haven't seen it already and you don't know what I'm talking about. James asks, any tips for lyric writing after years of playing and being in bands? I'm trying to do some solo, or rather 100% my own stuff. Really struggling with the vulnerability of lyric writing, I write a chorus then struggle with the verses. Oh, and all my songs seem to start with the chorus, not a verse. Is that a problem or just lack of practice experience writing? No, you can start a song however you like, do whatever feels right. Sometimes starting a song with a chorus means that it's just going to be like super catchy and then people are going to remember it quicker. Um, there is kind of like this sort of pop mentality where you kind of want to get to the chorus as quickly as possible, kind of within 50 seconds. So if you start with the chorus, you've already nailed that. Um, lyric writing, look, I know I, I have a style of lyric writing that's very confessional and it's not for everyone. It's not, it, it, you know, it's not to everyone's taste when they listen to the song and it's also not everyone's way of writing lyrics. So, all I can say is read, read and consume as much as you can, read the newspaper, the newspaper, read the news to a certain point, obviously that's tricky nowadays, <laughs> um, it, it, you just have to find topics that really inspire you, especially if you don't want to talk about your own life. I'm pretty happy talking about my own life because it gives me control over the narrative. Um, you know, I'm quite actually like a weirdly private person about a lot of things and yet my songs, I just bear my soul. So it's just my outlet. Try and tell the story you want to tell. No one's lived your life. Say what you like, do what you want. And when you're scared of singing a song, that's kind of when you think it might resonate. Like I've written a song called I Blame Myself recently that it's kind of difficult to listen to. And I'm kind of excited about people hearing it because it's really raw, it's really vulnerable. It's gonna be scary. I mean, Darling You Need Therapy, that song, I was really scared about that. And now it's like most people's favorite song of mine. Same with A Little Bit of Madness. Yeah. So just, just keep going, keep writing. Write, 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 always be writing. This question comes from Anthony. Is Brighton a vibrant place to be living and working as a creative? Yeah. I moved there about two and a half, almost three years ago. Obviously we've gone through a pandemic in that time, so a lot of things have been shut, but being near the ocean, it's amazing. It's weird, it's a pebble beach, so a lot of people are like, why would you live near a pebble beach? But it's actually still amazing, it's still great. Obviously England, we don't have like the best weather to actually be able to go in the sea all that often. It gets pretty chilly, but just having the ocean there just to remind you how tiny you are and how insignificant you are is probably pretty healthy for the creative's ego, right? So it's good to be reminded that you don't really matter, so just go and do things, go and make the stuff because nothing really matters and that's the whole that's the whole beauty of this whole thing. So just make people feel good, make stuff that can entertain and yeah Brighton now everything's opening up it's it's reminding me why I moved there in the first place. You know it's hardly a secret that it's a great place to live so yeah Brighton is amazing as a creative. I'm off to my bit and I'm done at half two so okay. let me know what you do if you want to play. <laughs> okay. I'm making such a cute video in here. I mean, <laughs> it's adorable. It's the side of the track, so I'm not sure about that. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye, fans of Mary. <laughs> That's Sean. She's been to a lot of my gigs, as has Lydia, who's also here, but Lydia's working right now. So uh, they've seen they've seen it all. They've seen it all. They've been they've been along for the journey. Tom asks, "Happy almost solar return." Well, thank you. It's now past my birthday, so thanks. Wanted to ask about your new studio. How's it coming along? Will you post more lessons in Ableton? New studio is finished. I just I got um, I can say this now. Uh, I had to quarantine because the NHS app told me to quarantine. So for five days, I was just stuck at home when I was meant to be filming a studio tour. So um, yeah, couldn't couldn't do that. But the studio is, is done, it's done, it's done. It's amazing. And 
I love it and I love being able to play guitar as loudly as I possibly can and not worrying about neighbours anymore. So um, yeah, and then will I post more lessons in Ableton? Yeah, and more collaborations with Rachel. I'm still just, I love that software. It's really exciting and after, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Where was I? Because my friends are here now. So um, yes to more lessons at Ableton. Yes to uh, showing you the studio. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. me to come down Hear my voice daydream and sing Picture me pulling you close I take you to the beach Let the waves crash over myself Crash over, crash over you Crash over Let go of all the things we didn't do Crash over, forget the thought Crash over, missing you Crash over Let go of all the things we didn't do We didn't do will turn into weeks Like a kid I mark each day I'll feel the moment when you land Meet in a matter of minutes Let the waves crash over myself Crash over, crash over you Crash over, let go of all the things we didn't do Crash over, forget the thought Crash over, missing you You're here now Let go of all the things we didn't do so far to go I know we've got so far to go I know we've got so far to go but I'm ready for it I know we've got so far to go I know we've got so far to go I know we've got so far to go but I'm ready for it I know we've got so far to go I know we've got so far to go I know we've got so far to go but I'm ready for it. I know we've got so far to go. I know we've got so far to go. Crash over you. Crash over. Let go of all the things we didn't do. Forget the thought of missing you. Take charge of all the things we've got to do, we've got to do. Work in progress, right? Yeah. Getting there. Getting there on that song. God, I'm such a nerd. Um, Should we have a little sing? Um. I think I want you. I think I do. Everything about this isn't new. I know you want me.